Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski and I'm the chef of this kitchen. And if you're tuning in, boy, I sure hope you're the chef of yours. We've been making some really good meals lately. I hope you've been enjoying them and thanks so much for being a part of it, subscribing and being part of our army building of chefs in our own kitchen. Uh, today we're gonna take a slide to the Polish side again. We're gonna make a fantastic, easy, simple dish. You can make it at any time, any day. Very simple ingredients as you can see right here. We'll go through those in a minute. Uh, but this is called kopitska. Kopitska is um, uh, um, like a little potato dumpling. If you think of like the Italian gnocchi, uh, very similar to that. So if you don't want to say kopitska, you could say Polish gnocchi. That's fine with me, whatever you want to call it. But it's very, very good. And we're going to really cook it up well tonight. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Simple ingredients. Like I said, we're going to use an egg. We're going to use two cups of flour and some salt. That's what's going to make our, our kind of our dough. Along with that, we're going to have a pound of potatoes. I'll show you what to do with that. Uh, and then, of course, we have our all-important kielbasa, onion, and butter. Guess what? That's going to be a part of the kopitska or the Polish gnocchi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back here. I'm going to start um, taking care of these potatoes. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the, the kielbasa and the onion. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Here's what I'm gonna do with the potatoes. I'm gonna leave the skin on them, and I'm gonna go ahead over here. Now, right now I have a pot of water starting to warm up to get to boiling. I'm gonna drop these potatoes in and let them boil for about 10 minutes, skin on. The reason why I use the skin on, because once it's done boiling and they get soft, you can bring them out, put them, in, put, put them into a strainer, take them out of the strainer, let them cool for a little bit, and that skin will slide right off. It's very easy to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pound of potato, a little bit more than a pound of potatoes in boiling water for 10 minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how I like to cook or cut up the kielbasa and the onion, because that's what's gonna go with our, with our Polish gnocchi, or if you wanna call it kopitska, um, that's fine. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna drop these into the pot of boiling water, and I'll see you right here just in a second. All right, welcome back. Now look, I know everybody knows how to cut up kielbasa and meat and all that kind of stuff, but for this dish, this Polish gnocchi, this kopitka, I wanna cut it a certain way, because I'm gonna use the kielbasa as a, um, um, as kind of a topping of it. But we'll talk more about toppings here in a little bit. So this is how I like to cut my kielbasa. Kind of cut it in a, in a length and then I go down at half and then I go half again. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm quartering it. Okay, just like that. I don't want really, 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 really big pieces of kielbasa. I just want to be able to, to use it as a topping. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut one more here for you. I go half and I go half again and then I make my quarters. See that? Fantastic. One more time. All right. Now I'm going to be right back. I'll cut the rest of this up. Be right back and show you what I'm going to do with my own. <laughs> That's the kielbasa, nice little quarters. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this around so I can show you what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and chop my onion up. You can chop it any way you want. Longer pieces, shorter pieces. Again, I like them a little smaller so they cook quicker and cook a little bit more because we're gonna actually have a lot of plans with this. So I half my onion and I just go long ways on the onion like this. There's other ways to cut. You can cut any way you want. Then I kind of twist it this way, and I just go ahead and dice away. I don't have a measurement stick. I'm not trying to do a certain size. I just want it nice and cut up. See, like, like that? That's about the size you want. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this other one up. go we got our kielbasa we got our onion all chopped up ready to go we got our butter in the middle it's gonna be important here in a little bit I'll show you what we're gonna do with that as our potatoes continue to cook for about 10 minutes like I said I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the potatoes because we got to make this dough for this Polish gnocchi for this wonderful kopitska okay so we'll be right back let's let the potatoes go ahead and finish up I'm gonna take them off I'm gonna strain them a little bit and I'm gonna let them cool off 
and then we're gonna put them up here and I'm gonna show you how to peel them and then the process of making this wonderful dish. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Hey, look, my potatoes are done. I went ahead and boiled them for, oh, probably 10, 12 minutes, maybe 15, I'm not sure. But what you gotta do is you gotta check them. Stick a fork in once in a while. If you get that fork halfway through or three quarter way through the potato, it's ready to go. So use a slotted spoon. These are hot potatoes and this isn't a game you wanna play, hot potato. This is not the game, this is not the time to play that kind of game. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a slotted spoon and just go ahead and drop these, not into my sink, actually right inside there is a strainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into the strainer and let them dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them. Again, <clears throat> don't touch the potatoes. It's not the game you wanna play. So there's my potatoes. Let's slide this over here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take them right out of the strainer. I'm just gonna lay them out so they can cool a little bit and dry off. I'll show you how we're gonna go ahead and peel these things. The uh, skin is gonna come off so quickly because it's been boiling for that amount of time. All right, so here we go. Right now, we'll just let them sit. And I'll be right back once these puppies cool off because I'm not touching them. These are too hot. I'll see you here in a little bit. So I already put on one potato. I just wanted to check see how hot they were. They're good to go. Let me show you how easy it is, okay? You just wanna go ahead and use your fingers. You can take this peel off with your fingers so simply. I mean, look, look how simple it comes off. No knife needed, nothing needed other than your just little fingers. Go ahead and use it. If it's too hot for you, let them sit down. Let them cool off a little bit more. That peel's still gonna come off. So, here's another one ready to go. It's like that, throw the peel away. I got three more to do, okay? We'll finish these up and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them next. Okay, so we're back. Hey, we got everything done. We got our potatoes done, about like I said, a pound, pound and a half potatoes. What I want to do next is go ahead and cut these in half. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make our dough for our Polish gnocchi. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, hey, we're back. Our potatoes are nice and cooled off. So let's go ahead and rice these things. What I mean by ricing, you can mash it with your hands. I have this ricer here. It's a little plastic ricer. Uh, you put the potatoes in and you squeeze them through. I'll show you what to do here in a minute. Um, you can pick one of these up from Amazon, probably 10, 12 bucks. Um, you can use it. Uh, it's, it's for other things too. Um, no, Amazon's not paying me to say that. But anyway, that's where I would get it. Um, or you can use a hand masher. But you've got to make sure that you get the clumps out, okay? Because you're making kind of a dough. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how to do the hand masher. I'm going to drop a potato in there and watch this. See how it rices out? Can you see that? You know, I heard one thing you can do, and if you want to do it, go for it, but there is a thing called, you can take a colander, uh, like, a, like a colander or, or, or um, um, a strainer, put the potatoes in there, and like put a bowl or something and push it through the holes of the strainer. If you want to try that, let me know, because I want to watch you do it. That one looks pretty tough. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand, hand uh, rice these out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. I got a few more to do, so hang in there. Watch what happens. So there we have our potatoes nice and rice. Now remember, we had um, uh, mixed up an egg with a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna add that in right now to our potatoes. All right, use your hands, folks. It's dirty hand time. Don't tell me when you are a kid you didn't like to play in the mud. 
this is a different type of mud. Just mix it together. I like to just go ahead and squeeze it. Just squeeze it. Mix that egg in there with the potato. Get everything integrated. Look at that. That's looking really nice. Oh, I wouldn't mind putting that in for a pierogi filling or something. That looks really good. All right, so we got that. Let me wash my hands real quick. Some of this egg off, or some of this potato off there. Now we have some flour. This is where some this is where some of the work happens. So let's go ahead and put the flour in here. We're not gonna add all at one time. There's two cups of flour. We're gonna add a little bit at a time. So I'll go kind of a half cup or so, and I'll go ahead and mix it. Just like this. All right, nothing major. Pick it up, flip it around, get it integrated into the potato. Pick it up, flip it around. All right, now, once you think you got a pretty good hold on it, add a little bit more flour. I'm going two hands. Because that's how you do stuff like this. And if you get some flour on your shirt, good for you. You're doing a good job. It'll come out in a wash. So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to add this other cup of flour in there. Be right back. Okay. part's done look at our nice little our nice little potato dough that we're gonna make our porchniaki with um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit right here for a few minutes and then I'm gonna get it pulled apart and I'm gonna show what to do next I got clean my hands I'm using a straw now to drink my beer because I gotta stay hydrated um, we'll be right back okay hey it's showtime now our potato uh, um, is ready to go, our, our, our potato batter, or whatever you want to call it, it's, um, it's a wonderful dough. So here's what we're gonna do. So simple, so, so, so simple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take about a quarter of this, uh, maybe a little less than that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna show you what to do. You take it, start it with your hands like this. Get it going, just get it going, that's all you gotta do. Now put it on your, put it on your cutting board or on your counter, and you wanna roll it out like a snake. I don't like snakes, I don't like spiders, but I like this kind of snake. So you just keep rolling it out, stretching if you want a little bit more. Looks good, about a quarter, three quarters of an inch of a roll, looks good. Now let me show you how simple this is. By the way, right now I have behind me water boiling. I put a, uh, a pot of water on and I also have some salt in that. So what we're gonna do after we cut these, boom, here we go. We're gonna make little diagonal cuts, okay? Diagonal cut, about an inch apart. There you go. That's all you take. This is what you have. I'm gonna go ahead and line them on a bacon dish that I've put some flour on so it doesn't stick, okay? I'm just gonna line them up. Oh, does that look good. Fantastic go. Again, same thing you want to do, cut a little bit more off, and then we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up, and then I'll finish the rest of them up, and we'll start to boil these things. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost home. Just roll them out, make a snake. How fantastic is it? All right, there we go. About an inch, not much. Ooh, that's a big one. And there. And just put them on our sheet. The reason why, oh, you know what? I'm going to cut this one in half. It got awful big. I got a big mouth, but not that big of a mouth. Let's put that puppy in there. There you go. Perfect. All right. So I'll be right back. I'm going to finish up the rest of these potato batter or potato, um, whatever you want to call it. But I'll be right back. And then we're going to take it over to the hot spot and get stuff done because we're ready to go. I can't wait to eat this stuff. I'll see you right back here. 
All right, it's show time and go time. Here we go. We're going to cook these wonderful, wonderful dishes. Um, these are the Polish gnocchi, or I like to call them kopitska. Okay, so here we go. They're done. We got a boiling water. We got salt in it. We're going to drop a few in at a time. One, two, just drop them in. You don't want to put a ton of them in at a time because you don't want them sticking together. So I try to kind of separate them out. I don't know. This is a big pot. Drop maybe 10 or 15, 20 or 20 of them are in there. They'll be fine. You want to get them going. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and boil them up. So four minutes is what we're going to do. And then we'll dig them out with a slotted spoon. They'll boil a little bit, and that should be plenty. Um, I'll take two rounds of this probably, but uh, four minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and move them from here to this nice lined with flour baking pan. We're gonna let them dry out, and then then we're gonna rock and roll because we got fantastic we got a fantastic flavor and topping to go with this. I'll be right back. All right, so the uh, kapitskas. Here's what's happening. These are floating up to the top. It's almost been about almost about four minutes. Keep an eye on them because once they float to the top, they're ready to go. What you want to do? Use a slotted spoon. Go ahead, and take them out. Put them on your pan. We're gonna add all the rest of these onto this pan. Now, after I'm done with this, putting these on this pan, I'm going to add the rest of them in, in, into the, to the boiling water. We're going to finish those off, do the same thing, get them boiling to the top. We're going to put them on the pan, let them dry out a little bit, let them, let them uh, cool, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do because this is when we're going to go ahead and make the dish perfect. I'll see you right back here. All right, guys, so here we are. I mean, we're in good shape. The, um, uh, the Polish gnocchi, or what I like to call it, the kopitska, has been boiled and ready to go. You can grab it with your hand. Now what I've done, I've taken a pan, heated it up, and add a little bit of butter in there. I'm gonna keep adding butter as we go because we don't want to overdo them. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and go ahead and put them in there. And we're gonna go ahead and just brown them a little bit in the butter. Not much. We don't want to do a crazy how darkness, anything like that. We just want a nice little brown into it. This will, this will go quick, so keep on moving. Keep on moving like I am. Don't, don't wait on them. All right, so there we go. Maybe we can add a couple more. And what we'll do, we'll flip them over, and then we'll get them browned on the other side, okay? Very easy to do, guys. Nothing hard. I got my, my um, cast iron pan at about, oh gosh, medium low, if anything. So I don't want to crisp these. I just want to go ahead and brown them a little bit. There's an easy way to flip them. I'll show you that here in a second, okay? That should be good. Now, back here, I have some onions going. I want to go ahead and caramelize these onions back here. And back over here, guess what? We have some sauerkraut. I'll show you what to do with that in a little bit. But once these onions start to caramelize, I'm going to add this kielbasa into the onions. I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to add me a little bit of salt to the onion. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my favorite of all time pepper. Just a little bit. There you go. So, I'm going to mix these onions up, let them caramelize. And let these kopitskas, these Polish yakis, brown on one side and then what we'll do is that we'll go ahead and transfer them from here to this plate because we're going to bring them all together here at the very end. I'll be right back. I'll show you what they look like when they flip. Okay, so our onions are nice and caramelizing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip them over. That's what you want to see. Look at that. Beautiful. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. There's a ton of them and I got another load to put in here yet, but that's what you want it to look like, okay? Look how nice they are. Beautiful, nice and brown, not, 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 um, uh, not burnt or anything like that. You wanna make sure that they're nice and brown, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the rest of these over, cook the other side, and then I'm gonna put the next load in and do the same thing. In the meantime, I got my onions over here caramelizing, and you know what, why not? Let's add the kielbasa to the onions. And I'll show you what, where, let me grab that out, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Be right back. All right, guys, let's plate this. Look how nice these look. Nice and brown, not, not burnt, but brown. This is a beautiful looking 
Kopitska or Polish gnocchi, whatever you want to call it. But let's go ahead and do this. A lot of people like to top this thing with what you can do is you melt some butter, put some breadcrumbs in. You can put some breadcrumb, melted butter and breadcrumbs over top of them. You can put sour cream, whatever you want. But I like to make sure that I'm doing it Polish way. So I have some caramelized onion and I have the kielbasa that's with it. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that over the top. Just like that. So we're gonna have a full meal. Oh, you know what? We have some sauerkraut. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this around it. And this way, if you want to take a little bit of the sauerkraut in, you can do that as well. Folks, there you go. It's a fantastic meal, easy to make, but I appreciate you being here. This is exactly how you wanna plate it in my book. This is Kopitska or Polish gnocchi. I'll see you over at the workstation. Okay, kaboom, we are done with this Kopitska. It's fantastic. You can call it the Polish gnocchi if you want. But what I did was I go ahead and I brown them like I said I was gonna do, and I put them on a plate. So what I did was took a little bit of those um, um, caramelized onion and kabasi, and I kind of put it over top of it, and then I wrapped it around with a little bit of sauerkraut. So it makes a nice little meal for you. This looks fantastic. Holy smokes, does it smell good. I'm gonna go ahead, stay hydrated, and I'm gonna take a taste because it's not good till I say it's good. Oh my gosh. Mm. If you don't like this, then you're barely breathing because this is fantastic. Holy smoke, okay. Make this, it's simple. You saw how simple it was. Simple ingredients, simple process. This is fun to make. You can make it any time, any day of the week. Have fun with it. Again, thanks for showing up. Thanks for enjoying, my, enjoying your time with me, and I appreciate you being here. God bless you, and in my own Polish love of saying, Nastrovia.